Greetings, and welcome to episode 22 of Morrowind Modding Showcases. As always, I'm your host, Dark Elf Guy, and this week we have a Duma themed episode for your viewing pleasure. Now, fair warning, there are a lot of Duma mods out there, and we couldn't possibly cover them all in one episode. So if your favourite Duma mod is missing, don't worry, we'll probably be doing this again in the future. Now, anyway, you can find the download links for each mod down in the description below. So why don't we go ahead and get started with our popular mod of the week, which this week is Sothisil Expanded by Team SSE. As you might imagine, this mod is a massive expansion of the clockwork city of Sothisil, including large, cavernous interiors. Like you can see here. Of course, actually getting to the city is a long and involved process of traveling through large dungeons filled with foes to face. And some of these vaults really are quite large that cannot possibly be understated. As you can see here. Once you get through all of that, however, you'll find yourself in a massive city that seems to defy all logic and space. And indeed, the Clockwork City is a real city, with streets of houses and shops and much more for you to explore. You'll find a number of services here, naturally. Such as this clothier, which has a number of new dialogue topics. And who seems to have a textile mill in the back. There's also plenty of new quests to check out as well. And you also find observatories, amongst many other buildings. With plenty of new books to check out. The Clockwork City is a crowded place. Filled with NPCs. And multi-level streets. And truly, each district is practically the size of a city on itself. You can even see each district just by looking up. And likewise, you can see the district you were just at, lining the walls of this apparent cube city. Sotha Sil Expanded adds all of this and much, much more of enough content to equal a full expansion. For our house model week this week, we have Abandoned Duma Observatory by Glimfeather. This mod adds a small Duma Observatory just outside of Sidonin. Inside is a cozy interior. With lots of storage space, some living quarters, a pet centurion spider, and an armory. Upstairs you'll find a nice library, some more storage space. And a little kitchenette with some creature comforts. You also find a bedroom. And a training room that you can use. I 
Naturally, there's also plenty of display space for showing off various items. This week's gameplay model of the week is Ralph Lloyd's Doom Assault Machine by Ralph Lloyd. This mod adds a working slot machine to Saran, along with a guide to use it that you can see here. Where you can convert gold into Doom tokens. As you can see here. And you can then use these tokens to place bets. And try your luck at the slots. You can keep betting like this for as long as you want. But if you're like me, you'll find your luck is somewhat terrible at this machine. And yes, I do keep trying this for quite a while. I wasn't able to win a single time. I think it's rigged myself. When you're ready, you can cash out. And you can get gold back for your tokens. Assuming you still have anything left, that is. You know what they say, the house always wins, and that is certainly true with the Doom of Slot Machine. Next up is our Dungeon Mod of the Week, and this week we have Blood Moon Doom Editions by PCC, aka Blockhead. As the name implies, this mod adds Duma dungeons around source time. As you can see here. These are fairly typical Duma dungeons. Composed of large rooms full of opponents. and numerous small corridors. In these dungeons, you'll often find evidence of the wintry environment they're located in, with icy boulders populating the ruins. These dungeons are randomly generated, and often present a number of different directions to go in. All of them filled with mechanisms to kill, of course. And the dungeons themselves will frequently feel like a maze. For our items of the week this week, we're taking a look at Xeer's Duma Alchemy Set by Xeer. This mod adds a new Duma Alchemy Set to the game. Pieces of which you can find in new rooms, added to Vanilla Morrowind and Dungeons. Like this one here. Naturally, these are fully functional alchemical pieces that you can use to make potions with. You can also find them hidden amongst other Duma ruins, as you can see here. There's also a rather lengthy backstory included with these pieces. And there's also a chemical shells that you can pick up.
Once activated, they unload a portable alchemy lab that you can use. As you can see here, this alchemy lab covers every ingredient in the game. And it includes a robot companion. Who has some of his own dialogue? And if ordered, can also sort your ingredients, amongst other commands. Though it might take a while. And you can see the ingredients show up here. This week's quest model of the week is quite a complex by Stabby the Clown which is no doubt a relation to Freddy Fazbear. This mod starts out near Fort Moonmoth, with a man who gives you a quest to discover what happened at a nearby mine. On the course of this quest, you'll explore a deep and dark glass mine, where things have seemingly gone awry. As you explore the mine, the story of what happened here is slowly revealed through journal entries scattered about the caverns. This is a decently large glass mine, with lots of Doom Centurions milling about, as you can see here. And it soon becomes apparent that this mine leads to some Dwoomer ruins. Which are rather large in size and filled with enemies to kill. Not to mention a number of traps and puzzles to solve. Including dozens of rooms like this one. It's up to you to explore and discover the mysteries behind the corner complex. Next up is our landmass model of the week. And this week we have Altor Island by Moldy Lama. This mod adds an island just off the coast of Hla Ode. With a small Duma dungeon on it. Inside is a decent sized dungeon with the typical assortment of artifacts and centurions to loot and fight respectively. The dungeon itself has a something of a curious maze-like design to it. And there's plenty of foes to face and kill. For our NBC Mile of the Week this week, we have Centurion Archers on Morrowind by Midget Alien. What this mod does is fairly simple, and adds Centurion Archers from the Tribunal expansion to the Duomo leveled list on Vardenfell. So you might come across them in normal Duomo ruins, like this one here. Though they're still not altogether that common.
These provide for some variety and extra challenge when exploring the ruins of Odenfell. This week's new meshes and textures model of the week is Dwemer Plant and Schematics by the Iron Chicken. This mod simply acts as a replacer for the schematics you find in Dwemer Ruins, giving them new high resolution artwork, as you can see here. Very nice looking if I do say so myself. Next up is our Modest Resource Mod of the Week, and this week we have Dognut's Greater Dwemer Ruins Resource Pack by Dognut. This resource package includes many of the assets found in Dognut's Greater Ruins, such as a Dwemer Tube tile set, like you can see here. Which includes small pieces, angled pieces, and also tile set pieces with holes in the floor, like you can see here. There's also vertical rock shafts, as you can see here. And various statics that act as cracks in the ground. There's also a new Duma floor piece and various rock access. You'll even find assets for a sixth house crypt, as you can sort of see here. In total, there's a wide variety of resources for Duma or sixth house purposes. Including this portal here, or as I like to call it, the Duma Tardis. There's also some exploded barrels, mesh walls with mesh ceilings, a variety of ladders, a cage, and centurions in various stages of disrepair. For our underrated model of the week this week, we have Duma Submarine House by Lochnarius. This mod adds a small Duma submarine to the West Gash region with a little docking platform, as you can see here. Inside you'll find a single room living quarters, including a desk, small kitchen, and display area. Not to mention a bed, a ladder to the surface, and a variety of miscellaneous storage containers strewn about to make for a cozy little home. This week's Blast from the Past Model of the Week is the Dormiri Secret by JC Spencer. This mod starts out with a simple quest to deliver a medical amulet to a poor worker's uncle. But from there the story becomes a little more interesting. This uncle, as it turns out, was a Duma artifact researcher, with more than a few tales to tell about the Duma. But his last excavation was buried, giving you the opportunity to seek it out again. After the poor man dies and leaves you his key, of course, This will take you to a set of vanilla ruins in the Ashlands.
where you'll find large new chambers of Duma tunnels, buried just beneath the surface. Here you'll find chambers full of dangerous Duma mechanisms. And towards the Centurions just waiting to kill you, as you plumb deeper and deeper into the darkness to find the secrets of the Duma. Finally, for our bonus roll of the week this week, we have Duma Flying Fortress by Alec Atoms. This mod adds a flying Duma ship to the skies of source time. As you can see here. And it's crawling with a number of Duma contraptions. Inside you'll find something of a Duma dungeon to loot and fight through. Though some of these fights will prove quite challenging, but the rewards and loot are also quite great. Assuming you can survive long enough, that is. That's it for this week. As always, you can find the download links for each mod down in the description below. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this episode, do please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next week with another 13 mods for your viewing pleasure.